Hello Stampers! Today I'm going to show you the Celebrating You is the Best card made with the Ornate Style stamp set. And as you can see we've used the big floral um, in the stamp set on our card and I'll walk you through using some of the other products that are part of the Ornate Garden Suite that Stampin' Up! sells. Let's get started. So first of all I'm going to use my paper trimmer and I'm going to trim my cardstock. I've got thick cardstock here. Stampin' Up! sells two different varieties. We've got the thick and the regular whisper weight cardstock. And what I'm going to do first of all is just score it at five and a half. And then I'm going to cut it four and a quarter. So I'm doing the whole cardstock, the eight and a half by eleven, and so that I get two card bases at the same time. I always like to make two cards. You want to keep one and give one. I know a lot of us just end up keeping them all. But this way, if we make duplicates, uh, we'll be good. Okay, so I'm just pulling out my grid paper and my foam mat. And now what I want to do is actually start stamping. So I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock at two and a quarter by three and three quarters. And that's what I'm going to stamp my flower with. So again, I'm just going to use my early espresso ink pad, squish it and flip it. I am inking it up, tap, 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 to make sure it's all fully covered. But before I stamp it, I'm just gonna stamp off on my paper once, and then just randomly stamp it. Now, depending on what greeting you're gonna use, it might depend on um, whether or not you wanna stamp your greeting first so you can see where the flower is. In this case, I already had an idea. So I'm just gonna stamp celebrating you as the best. And then I've got my pretty flowers. So then what I want to do is I want to bring in my blends and start coloring. So let me just move them here. And it doesn't matter whether or not you want to start lightest to darkest. I'm going to use my yellows and I'm just going to color the centers. I'm using my dark so saffron to cover this color the centers of my yellow daisies and then I'm going to use the light colored old olive just to color the leaves I'm just going to gradually color them all in I'm using the thick tip some of you might prefer the other end of these blends they do have a more fine tip and in fact let me show you why because I'm probably going to want to use them here on the stems so I'm just randomly coloring I'm not worried about staying in the lines, but for some of you, this might be very therapeutic, therapeutic, and you may want to take your time. But I'm just going to use this other end just to gradually blend the stem. I think I'm missing a leaf. I am over here. So again, I'm just going to grab the other layer. And I think I've got a little bit of greenery over here too. So I'm just going to lightly do that in behind that posy. Okay, now for my leaves, I'm taking a darker shade. This one is dark, or sorry, light mossy meadow. So it's just a little bit different shade of the green. And I'm just going to go over those leaves, kind of the veins, vines of the leaves, just to kind of help it stand out, make the leaves pop just a little bit more. I do have another step at the end that I'll show you, but I'm just highlighting those so that they pop. Now I'm going to take my light purple posy. I'm just going to color in these pansies or posies, whatever the flowers are called. I actually really don't know. For those of you who maybe don't know me as well, might not know that I'm actually not really a flower person. <laughs> Although I did buy this stamp set to kind of challenge myself. I did see a card, of course, I absolutely love, so I'd wanted to recreate it. That's the reason for buying the stamp set. Um, but yeah, it, it, this is beautiful. I just love this mixed bouquet because it's not one particular flower. You have a mix. So if I did have to pick a favorite daisy flower, it would definitely be, I think I said it, the daisy. It's the daisy flower that I would pick. Look at that, I ended up using the dark one instead of the light, but that's okay. I'll show you the difference the shade makes as I color this one with the other shade. Oh, they kind of both look the same. 
that's different. I'm going to just darken that up some more. Also, if you go over the layers, though, it will change the color slightly. So I'm just going to go over this again. I don't think it's going to matter too much as long as it gives me a little bit of a yellow shade. And then I'm going to use the petal pink. This is the dark shade just to kind of fill in my, I think this is a dahlia. Someone can kind of post in the comments if I'm wrong about that. Like I said, I don't really know my flowers, but I do know my daisies. Okay, so there's our beautiful coloring. So now what I'm gonna do is bring back that card that I scored and show you that I've also cut a piece three and a quarter, pardon me, three and three quarters by five, and that's gonna be a mat onto my card front. Now what I did with this mat is I actually ran it through the cutting and emboss folder in order to give me a beautiful embossed image. So I don't know if you can see that, but this is the flowers that kind of go with that suite. And I'm just going to mount that to my card front, but I'm actually gonna mount it where the 3D flowers are upside down, because I actually want the flat side up. So I'm gonna run some snail, which is our adhesive over top. Oh, except before I mount it, I do this every time, I'm just gonna use some of our uh, petal pink ribbon to tie a bow over top. Now I'm actually going to just grab my foam paper to put it on top so it can stick to that and not my paper. And slightly measure. That looks like that'll make a nice bow. Give it a snip. And then I'm just going to tie a pretty bow around. So because I've got all that adhesive, it just wants to stick to the back, which I guess is a good thing. It'll hold it in place. I kind of want it up just a little bit. There we go. And tie it around. Now I did, you know, you might want to measure your ribbon a little bit. I did make this a little bit big, but that's okay because I do use all my scraps on little tags and gifts. So it will get used, it won't be wasted. It also helps me really navigate that bow and get it exactly the way I want it. I fuss with my bows. I just want them to look just right and make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, is that gonna work? I think that's gonna work. So now I'm going to mount it to the front of my card base here, just like that. Okay, and then we'll just snip off some of the excess with some ribbon snips. And like I said, I'm just gonna put that aside because I will make a tag out of that. So now what I did is I used the framelits that went with the set. So these, pardon me, they're called dies. Um, they're beautiful, ornate, very de delicate. Uh, frames that have beautiful beautiful impressions and it's this frame that I ended up using um, to cut out a copper frame so this is it just like that it's so beautiful it actually cut through the cutting machine really simple it helped having this pick tool and brush just to kind of poke out the little extras and kind of brush them out um, so highly recommend that if you don't have that now all I'm going to do is put dimensionals onto the back so that I can pop this up and mount it. So these are just double sided dimensionals. I'm going to peel off the top layer. There we go. And now I'm going to mount this just kind of center over top of my beautiful ribbon. And that ribbon has copper trim on it as well and that's what blends so nicely with these copper foils there and so now what I'm going to do is take that beautiful um, flower image that I stamped and I'm just going to snail it yeah when you're coloring with the blends though make sure you have something underneath I don't know if you can see that the markers really came through on that and that's okay because we're not going to see the back and I'm just going to mount that in the center of that beautiful frame and there's your card I hope you liked it. Thanks.